Hello, um, I hope you are all well. I'm just going to share with you a few tips and tools for online teaching that you may wish to use over the next forthcoming weeks. This little app that I'm using at the moment with my mugshot down in the bottom corner is called Loom, which we'll come to at the end. I just want to show you a few um, other tools and things that we can do um, to help us during this time. The first one is uh, using Google Docs as a class chat forum. So this might be useful to help reduce the number of emails that you get uh, if you've got any frequently asked questions by students that are replying to them one at a time or to everyone. And then you can set up a Google document such as this and you can post teacher comments, comments at the top and then invite students to ask their questions and comment or even comment on other students' comments here. So um, it's straightforward enough. I've set up a template. If you click on that, uh, you can access the template. It will look something a little like this. Uh, you can then put your teacher name in your class. And again, this section is for you and this section is for your students. Um, it's also good if you keep the same document um, and just let this grow over time and to avoid sending out multiple documents to students. Um, so three easy steps of the template and personalize it share making sure that we have anyone at st chris can edit and then post that link into google classroom to share with your students the second tool that i'm going to share is vocaroo um, vocaroo is a really simple website which allows you to record your voice so again if you click on this here it will take you to the vocaroo it works on Chromebooks, uh, iPads, laptops, anything with a microphone. Add this button here and then you simply start recording your voice. Click it again to stop. And three simple steps. Um, and step two, you click that button if you're happy with it to save and share. If you want to record your message, click on this red button here. Um, and then it will take you to this window here. And um, if you copy the link, uh, it puts that onto your clipboard and then you can paste that into Google Classroom and share it with your students or you can add it to a Google Slide or a Google Doc uh, for students to listen to um, as they're reading your instructions. Finally, this is uh, Loom. Uh, Loom's a little more complicated in that you need to add um, a Chrome extension. So if you click on this box here, um, you will go to the uh, Loom um, add-on store. Uh, you will just need to click that button to install it. Uh, it will then add it to your, to your browser up here. Um, you have to be in Chrome. And then once you've done that, you have to sign up for an account. Dead straightforward, just hit sign in with Google. It creates you an account. And once you've added the Chrome extension, um, you can get your Google Doc open, your Google slides open and you just simply click that icon there looks like this and then it will come up and you can either record your full desktop or a current tab start recording and then you get the little um, picture down here you can change the size of this uh, if you want to make it bigger woof, uh, or you can even go straight to the big one there um, if you so desire i'll put that back down to small um, once you finish recording, uh, you click on the green button and then it uh, gives you a link, which again, you can share through Google Classroom or add to a Google Doc. So it's a real great way um, for you to explain anything on Google Slides or Google Docs or any of the websites that you're using, um, create the link and then share it with your students. So I hope that's been helpful. And uh, if you need anything, as always, please just drop me an email um, if it's a problem then I will be happy to help. Have a great week. Bye.